Are you managing multiple production lines and finding it hard to stay on top of schedules? Don't worry, I got you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you an Excel tool that will automate your production scheduling, balance workloads across lines, and help you visualize everything with a Gantt chart. This tool is perfect for anyone managing manufacturing or production environments. And you can grab it today on Etsy or Patreon. Link in the description below. Now let's dive in and see how it works. The first sheet is the line balancing sheet. This is a backend sheet that use, is used by the macro. You don't need to do anything here. What this sheet will do, it will take row by row the orders that are here and basically assign them to each line based on the line that is least uh, booked. And that way it's going to load your plant or factory in the most balanced way. So again, nothing to do here. You can see in the info also that this is just part of the automatic scheduling process. Also this sheet, both are colored in gray called model. This sheet will basically take your orders as is and that and add some information like the possible lines coming from the production timesheet the production line that was eventually scheduled in the line balancing, how long the production will take, again, based on the production time and the quantity, the sequence within the line, so one, two, three, four, the order of the production, and can't see it here, but the start and end date. Again, the icon for the information tells you this is, this is part of the automatic scheduling and nothing to do here. So those are the, let's say the backbone sheets for the automatic scheduling. The two sheets that are in blue are the ones that you need to update now and again, the production time. So this is what you need to set up for each item. Okay, you can see it in the info as well. Set up column B with your items and um, here in the units per day for each line, what is the output? So, for example, the desktop PCs are produced at a pace of 2.975 units per day. And I put um, non integer numbers on purpose just so the production time will be uh, partial. So it takes into account hours, not just days. And you can see that this column, which is automatically calculated, will show you which lines are possible, which is what you see in the model sheet and in other sheets as well. This is something that you maintain. You can just add another line if you want, line five, add the capacity, sorry, the units per day, and you can see it over here. And it will automatically show also here. We see it also automatically will show and it will schedule line five now that it exists over here. So you can have as many columns or lines as you want, how many rows as you want. Just make sure that this formula is dragged, although it should be okay. So that's production time. Very important that you maintain this as this is the heart of how the items are scheduled. The orders sheet, again, you have some info here. Very important to, to paste the information here in the same order. So you have the order number, the customer name, the item name, the quantity and due date. Essentially the three that are very critical are these. So column C, D, and E, because everything is based on it. Um, the order number and customer, even if they're blank or, or they're in reverse order, that's not a big deal. Um, it's, just, it's just better to have it in the same order. But these are absolutely critical. If this one doesn't have the due date, uh, everything won't work. If this doesn't have the quantity, it's not going to work. And if this doesn't have the item, it's not going to work. So just make sure that you um, update this with the right sequence. Um, you can have as many rows as you want. There's no limitation. And that's all you need to do over here. The main sheet, which is called Schedule, this is where you'll spend most of your time. This sheet will show you your orders, columns A through E which is exactly what you see over here in the blue columns. But also you can see the orange columns, which is your actual scheduling. 
So this will show you the possible lines, the production line that was selected, the production time, the line sequence start and end, similar to what we had over here. Uh, I'm not showing the hours here, but it is taking into account hours and not just days. But just for visual purposes, it's not being reflected here. You have a start date that's, that needs to be a date. So if you put in something that's not a date, it's not going to allow it. But as soon as you change the date, everything will change accordingly. Because the start date is what's feeding this entire um, model. So you see automatically on the Gantt chart that we now see October. And you can see all the start dates. Okay. So I'm going to change it back to September. So start date is something that Build you can control buttons. What, once you click on that, it will take the orders from here and the model from here. Basically the model, actually. Take it over here and also add the Gantt chart. And let's see how that works. You see very quickly, it just took everything. I can just show you and delete some of the lines. So very quick, it just takes all the orders here that you have and just sets them up in the different production lines. You will see on the right, you have a Gantt chart basically that shows you the date of today, which is now, this is a monthly view. So you see September, October, you can see the schedule. And of course you can see in red, uh, all the orders that are gonna be late. This one's due on the 20th, it'll be ready on the 24th. You can also switch to a daily view. So that's gonna show you every day. And at the 14th, we see it. And you can also switch to a monthly view. as we saw before, and a weekly view. The other thing that you can do here is you can also manually schedule. Let's say you want this order that is late. Well, that's only for line two. Well, that's just for, for uh, Let's just move this one to four. Based on what you have here on the possible lines, you have a subject to choose. And by default, it's gonna show you the sequence, but what you can do, you can also update the sequence. So line four has three orders. Let's say you wanna put that last. So you're gonna click on update sequence, kind of get this pop-up message. I'm gonna move it to three, and now I moved it from four to one, and now it's on line four. And that helped actually with the order that I saw, but now I have different problems. If I change my mind, I can always click on that button, the schedule, and I'm back to the optimized version. So you also have an option to change, and you can see that this works for just the lines that are possible. So here you have it, an easy to use Excel tool that automates your production scheduling, balancing workloads, and gives you a visual overview with a Gantt chart. If this sounds like something that could streamline your operations, you can grab the file from my Etsy store or my Patreon page. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Excel and automation tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.